just a quick little talk before I get to work. So, first of all, I hate milling with a chainsaw. Uh, it's too much fuel being used, it's expensive, uh, you're breathing in all kinds of nasty fumes, and, and it's not a pleasant experience, and, and, and also it's, it's extremely slow. You're not getting that much power out of a chainsaw, even though I'm using a seven and a half horsepower chainsaw, it's on the bigger logs, it takes a long time. Hey, work. All right, just a quick little rundown here. These are all the parts, uh, most of the parts. Uh, there's a bunch of them, and I'm going to be working on this for quite a while. And over here we have the little drawing. So you can see this motor here is, uh, is uh, slightly lower than the one in the front. I am going to be building this beam uh, with all these little components here. So I began by just uh, cleaning up a few areas from mill scale and some rust where the welds are going to be. And then I started by capping the ends of the shorter rectangular tubes that's, that are going to be visible. Just a couple of tack welds and I could flip it over and then do a, a full seam on both sides. And then I clean the welds, the grinder, so I wouldn't have any weld beads interfering and making the measurements all wonky. And then we are checking for square at both ends and then I could clamp all of these rectangular tubes together. Um, they're not always perfectly straight, but when you clamp these together, um, the measurements become very accurate. And I also clamped it down to the welding table as well, which I know is completely flat. And so I just started by tack welding uh, on one side of the beam. And then I can flip the beam over. making sure it was still flat and hadn't moved or twisted from the tack welds, I could then uh, just check it with a straight edge and then just continue on with uh, making full beads. And when that was done, I could clean all the areas and just... By this time, there was a whole lot of smoke and dust in the, in the air so I wanted to vent the whole area and so I just cracked the doors open and took Folky for a little playtime and here you can see some of the wells they were they were a bit cold at some some areas and so you might notice Folke he his hind legs are a bit stiff and that's because he's getting a bit old he is uh, almost seven years old, and so his lower vertebrae are actually starting to fuse together. But we're taking it slow, and we, we make sure that he's, he's not playing too rough. And he's just such an awesome dog. He's truly my best friend, and a very gentle spirit. This uh, platform is going to be replaced with the beam. This is what I had been using previously and here you can see bar clamps and this is where I would clamp the chainsaw, uh, the chainsaw bar and I would have the chainsaw engine sticking out over here and I could just run the throttle like this and I would push the whole cart. Uh, <clears throat> but since I'm not going to be using this anymore, I have 
decided to utilize some of the parts. I'm going to unassemble this. Uh, I'm going to remove the bar clamps because I'm also going to be using those uh, in this next uh, build here. So that's, one, that's what's going to happen right now. So I forgot that two of these were actually longer than the other two and the plans call for them to be this length which is 80 centimeters. So it doesn't really matter, it doesn't affect the performance or anything, it's just that I don't think my OCD would be able to handle looking at two of these being 10 centimeters longer than the other two. So I have to cut these down to size. Perfection. I'm about to drill these uh, plate steel and these holes are going to be for the aluminum extrusions uh, it's all gonna make sense later and these center holes are for plug welds for plug welding it to the beam That's gonna be at least 90 kilos. So, this is the beam. Here you can see just a little glimpse of how things are coming together. Oh. And in the next video, we're gonna be taking a look at all these tiny parts. Until then, you have an awesome time.